chance to match them here for Jin Young Ko. Hundred and three to get it there, so short shot. Just punching that in, just fractionally right of the flag. Looking good though. Now, can she follow these other two outstanding shots? And punching that in, that one is turning a little more to the left. Looks good for distance. And it's not often you say that Jin Young, can she do it now? Make no mistake about this. Jin Young Ko has made the majority of her. Long way back here in the rough for Jin Young Ko. Just going with the iron to get this back out into play, but she's going to end up a fair way in for her third shot. Early as well, under the radar. Still a decent shot in here, going with an eight iron for Jin Young Ko, just left of the flag. It seemed like a little bit too much club. Now I can tell you, Dean Herbert's just told me that they have already received. Pan out, Jin Young Ko for her birdie now. Long range down the hill. Keep tracking. Oh, that was unlucky. Also going with five iron. Again, low ball flight. The line is good. Just drifting a little left now, but that's not far away. Just needs to settle down. Yeah, running on a lot more than it looked like it would do. You mentioned low ball flight. Right edge of that bunker most players will be aiming at. You kind of get the feeling this is a big shot in the big scheme of things, and she doesn't like it. Not been going left, surely. Well, can't afford any of that in the final round. Oh, this is a tough shot for Ko. You see that quite often. Whenever there's not a lot of lip, you, I, I think more often than not, you see people come up short because they just have a tendency. And it's the first birdie of the day for the world number one. And she moves to 12 under in the room. That is an excellent putt from the world number one. So Ko starting to make moves. Birdies on eight and nine. She's waking up on Ko out of the proceedings. Big wide fairway, you should have no trouble finding it. And this has absolutely split the center at Jin Young Ko. off back to back birdies on eight and nine keeping that well left off the pin safe pretty predictable for the first part and then down and to the left with the second did you not used to play that way, Sandy? <laughs> and no problems, it's a par for Jin Young Ko and she'll march to the 11th hole trail. Just a little bit of breeze blowing here at the moment, not too much, but it's not going to affect Jin Young Ko because again, she has split the center of the fairway. drive down the 12th for Hannah Green. Pins tucked in that back right section today. Not a lot of break in this putt. It's just going to be about the pace. Oh, it's got to keep going. A couple of holes remaining. That's her 179 out. Had to keep it low with the five iron. Now it's tot. It's got to stop. She's the world number one and she's there for a reason. Bangs it in, that's got to go. Never going to make it. 
<laughs> from six feet on the PGA Tour, 45% is the average, and we're looking at six, no one's missed a six footer today. And I think that does come down. 260 plus to get to the front of the screen, so this is just a matter of getting it down the center, and she's gonna do that. It's heading in the direction of the front bunkers, but uh, certainly won't get. 60 yards with this wedge needs to stop get some check beautifully done big putt for Jin Young Ko trying to close the gap rattles that in confidently under 198 yards just cannot be right of this flag that needs to land softly it does Ooh. There she or if you like it is, and these are the big money events as well. A par for Amy Yang at 15, this big for Jin Young Ko. Jin Young Ko, this is with five iron. It's good contact now. It's somewhere near that ridge. If it kicks the right way, and you'll have to lead us in from here because we can't see a thing. Well, unfortunately, it's just very similar in comparison in the women's game. through the back at 15, Jin Young Ko. Could, could it? It can! One of the par five. And you want to make sure that you find the fairway on this. This is going straight towards those bunkers and it is going to the title last year to Hyoju Kim. We go to 16 with Jin Young Ko. And it's taken a long time to decide what to do out of this Bunker decided to lay up well short, which is going to give her. And back down to the live action with Jin Young Ko. This is 153, and it's a good looking shot. Now she may get out of this after going via the bunker. Gives herself a good birdie chance. This is with seven iron and uh, this tight left pin. This is just going a little more central on the green, just to. Uh, Gonna give herself a chance at long range birdie putt. Uh, Gave it a nice roll. Under LPGA Thailand. And that is a three for Jin Young Ko. Left of, without going too far down the right hand side. And that is just perfect. Up on top of the hill, gets a clear view. And it's straight at it, if it's the right number. Straight at it. It's a, it's a shot. This time, it's Asia's major for Jin Young Ko. And with that, the world number one takes the HSBC Women's World Championship with a birdie at the last, no less. But done. This was the moment, uh, the final hole. She waited 72 to get there. And it was worth it. Well, she just breaks record after record. Not only has she broken 70 yet again to have 15 rounds on the drop. She's also broken the record of consecutive subpar rounds today. I'm not really sure what else you can say about her. She is a record breakup. She's the record holdup now. Jin Young Coat.